Randy Lewis, professor of American studies. Drones, the NSA, Edward Snowden, big data. Surveillance is very much on our minds these days, yet scholars haven't explored how it feels to live in a surveillance-obsessed world. So in the book I'm writing, I'm interested in what I call the soft tissue damage of these surveillance practices, the ways that a disproportionate investment in security causes systemic injuries that are psychological, emotional, and political in nature. This is a book about an important and timely subject, a book about right now. But scholarship moves at a slower pace. As scholars, we mull and sort more carefully because we have the luxury of time, except when we don't. I don't want the book to come out in five years. I want it to come out next year. This is why I was lucky to receive a Humanities Research Award in 2011. There aren't many external grants in the humanities that can help you develop a research project. The HRA is quite rare. This award allowed me to visit Walden Pond to write about the ways that surveillance technology undermines our experience of wilderness, something that Henry David Thoreau helps us understand. I visited massive sales conventions for the surveillance industry in New York City, talking to marketers and technicians about military-grade technology that they are selling to suburban schools and office plazas. I went to Colorado to work with evangelical Christians learning how to put high-tech surveillance equipment into their churches. And I listened to church security experts who believe that Al-Qaeda wants to attack their tiny Baptist church on the outskirts of Colorado Springs or Amarillo. As I was able to travel like this, I learned things that I would never have learned otherwise. I got a deeper sense of what is driving the business of surveillance. A complex blend of irrational and rational fears is pushing us to wire up our homes, businesses, churches, and schools for maximum control. Is it a wise, sane, or effective response to the actual threats out there? Does it make us sleep better at night? Or does it aggravate the problem? This is what interests me in, in the book I'm calling Surveillance of the Heart, Fear and Loathing in Fortress America. It's a tricky story that hasn't been told before, and the HRA is helping me tell it.